Hello, my name is Azatru and welcome to yet another Star Wars Battlefront video and in this one I'm going to be telling you how you can earn more XP so you can level up faster and earn more credits. If you've ever wanted to get rank to rank 25 and unlock the DL44 very very quickly or if you just wanted that certain trait at 7000 credits or another 7000 credit purchase such as an upgrade for another star card you currently own then this video is going to be a good thing for you. So I'm going to be telling you certain things that aren't really anything major just little things that you can do within the game to earn more credits and I really hope you enjoyed the video I just want to make a video for you guys that helps you out and gets the community a bit more higher rank so you can earn more stuff and have a better enjoyable experience within Star Wars Battlefront. Now if you are new around here and yet to click that subscribe button make sure you do so so you'll never miss any Battlefront news that I put out and on top of that any live comms or any tips and tricks I make. Now let's get on with the tips and tricks so for the first one it is specific specific for credits this will not level you up whatsoever but if you go into the missions and survival modes within Star Wars Battlefront and you play them through and earn stars you will actually earn credits depending on certain challenges within the modes or earning those stars you can earn up to like a thousand plus credits only once though but it's very very good at farming lots and lots of credits so if you go and complete every single mode within the missions and the maps obviously you will earn a ton of credits so you can purchase traits that you may have just wanted to unlock. Now moving on to the XP side of things so if you complete challenges within Star Wars Battlefront, you can only have three on at a time. You will actually level up so, so quickly. So some challenges that are harder to complete and take more time offer five to 10,000 XP bonuses. But for players that are just starting out, most challenges offer around 2,500 or slightly less. And these will actually boost your levels so much. So basically, if you head over to the uh, stat screen, you can see what challenges you have open. You can actually put, use credits to purchase a new challenge if one is facing very difficult uh, for you guys. And on top of that, if it's just something you don't find interesting or not worth doing the uh, challenge for, then make sure you use those 500 credits to actually purchase a new one. But remember, it could even be even harder. So you just have to be, it's a bit of a gamble. You just have to be careful with that. But it's a very, very good way at leveling up. So make sure you go and complete those challenges just by completing things within the game. Next up, if you win the game, you will actually earn bonuses. Make sure you play with friends so you can talk to each other, communicate with each other and just have a much better experience and the more games you win the more XP you're going to earn and obviously you'll earn more credits so it's going to be a much better experience for you as well and if you finish the games you also earn more XP as well so make sure you do that don't keep leaving games midway unless you're absolutely being destroyed and you or a really bad connection you don't like at all but if you're winning don't just think oh I want to leave because you will earn more XP and this takes me into my next point. Play the objective. Please, please, please be one of those people that plays the objective. Unless you're in Blast, Hero Hunt, or Heroes vs. Villains, you obviously can just kill. But in games like War Assault, Supremacy, or Cargo, or Droid Run that are heavily uh, objective-based, a lot of people just aren't playing the objectives. Now, when you activate an uplink, take some cargo, deliver some cargo, or even just complete part of droid run you will actually earn a lot of xp and when you do this multiple times in a game and you do multiple games you will start to see an increase in your level right well your progress to the next level so it's very very useful you do that sort of stuff and this takes me into a bit of a side um, note if you play fight squadron you will actually earn 50 points for killing an AI but they're very easy to kill but if you want to go for 150 points you can kill an actual player you can tell these apart by the fact that they have name tap gamer tags over the actual ships if they are an actual player but remember they do take much more to actually take down so if you're interested in just getting kills trying to go for you know challenges for example or want to get easy 50 points here and there then make sure you actually take out AI they are very easy to take down it's very very quickly just to you know um, find some around the edges just flying around they won't really do anything to you just take them out you've earned a few points 
Let me know in the comment section below if this video helped you at all and give me any feedback. If you want me to do more tips and tricks, be sure to let me know in the comment section below as well. Drop a like if you enjoyed it and check any of the two videos on screen out if you've missed them. I know they didn't really hit sub boxes, so make sure you do that. And I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront video. Goodbye.